strategy this one. A man's on to a fam man's on my way to a crib right now. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, fam. No girl fam. No girl. Yeah, I'm not gonna have my own. 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 I'm not gonna Yes, my brothers, all gone. Wow. Easy wow. kings, easy Listen, kings. Listen, what are you doing around here? How's it going, fam? Right? Yeah, all right, yeah? yeah bro. How's it going, my brothers? All gone. You say what we're doing around here, bro? Yeah, we're good still. Yeah, I'm just going to check one girl around the corner, you know, fam. You know them way there. You know them ones. Yeah, man. Everybody good, though? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Stay blessed, you know. Keep the positive energies, yeah? No, no, Don't know, my brother. Look after yourself. Love, yeah? Oh, let's go. Let's go. You check, bro. Bossing on that thing. If that was real, bro, if someone come up to me, like, oh, what? Well, like, bro, shut up, bro. Like, <laughs> nah, I guarantee you, if you actually put in the I think, you know what? You would not do that. I think you'd be surprised you because. Should, you, bro, you know what? Be you know what? Let me try. If you don't know him, then cool, but if you know him. Yeah, but you know what? Do you know why I'd be, I tell you you'd be surprised, bro? Because the amount of people I've done that to in front of other people and. The man them that are, are trying to be the bad boys, they don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah, they literally, when you, yeah, when you hit them, puzzles. when you hit man like that, they don't they, know what, froze, like, they, they like, literally don't know what to do with themselves, look like confused fam. Yeah. Cause it's already planted in their head that the yeah. scenario that it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna be some, you know, like, gonna be like, I, I think you see a scenario like that, the only way it can go to violence yet, yeah, if the person has already got in his head, like a, he's looking to do you something. Exactly. It's not a way he's looking to, he's looking to rob you or do you something then. It's kind of a bit harder, but then it's not impossible, bro. Because I do it, I do this on a regular basis, and I see man's shape and aura change from this to mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, oh, you, yeah. yeah, because everyone just feels intimidated. You get what I'm saying? When you make man feel yo, you're okay. They're okay. And you're gonna feel like the look of man as well. You're gonna think like, what kind of dickhead business am I really keeping up? Really, yeah. you're gonna hear me. Doesn't really make no sense keeping it up. So the thing is, like you that. look like the fool if you're actually the one that's still has. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Now, nah, if you don't yeah. know him, yeah, but if you if you do know him and you don't like him, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah, but that's, that's different. That is different. That's a different, different story. Game, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. But do you know what? But do you know what, blood? Okay, so. I know bear man don't like me, blood, and when I see man, we do the same thing. I do the same yeah, thing. But that's not I real, do the bro. same thing with man that I know for a fact don't like yeah. me, blood. Yeah, and I will go, yo, you alright, king? And they'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. a screw face, still, yeah, 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 and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. But because of my energy, blood, the positivity, yeah, the blood. Energy, yeah, it's all about energy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm not about saying energy. man can't be totally yeah, yeah, ignorant and say, yo, yeah, fuck off yeah, and this yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah. But then you just do it, you just. You know, you don't, so I'm you don't not entertain that. They, they need so to still hit them with like, fuck off, bro. Yeah, that's cool. it. Say, so, all yeah, right then, my it. brother. No, no. Obviously, we're not in the same place. That's you keep it, it moving, you know what I'm saying? You'll probably be in, you'll probably be in jail in six months' time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be mm -hmm. living good. It's a situation where you're in somebody's face, you've got no other choice but to say, yo, what's going on? And mm. he's asking you what's going on. Say, nothing, yeah. my brother. It's all love. That's it. That's it. Nothing's it's going on, my brother. It's all love. Because, because not, not because he's scared, because, yo, if you act out and you get on a madman thing, where's it going to put you? Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Jail. Going and jail. that ain't nothing nice. So rather than me, put me because I don't want to feel like an idiot or a dickhead, I'm going to act up and put myself in jail for 20 years. Forget all the, because when I'm in jail for 20 years, I'm going to be really feeling like a dickhead. In that word. You know, like that. Sometimes you need to put that positive energy in somebody like the young G's that's coming up because like, they're the, like, the hothead ones. You know what I'm trying to say? A lot of lives will be saved if we all did that. Imagine how many Not lives would be saved if we all just had that way of thinking. Not wrong. No, no, no. No, I'm fine. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, man.
I've seen this exact same clip a million times. I saw it down. I would, I, I would like to know how come, why did he walk past? Why, why did you, did you hang around him and take away all black? What? Intimidated and then feel like as soon as you talk to me, it won't end well for me if there's like I nine. Say it, it won't end well. well. It does. It does depend. It's speaking yeah. and the time yeah. you come across, you come across aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. The kind of white is here as well. So it's, and yeah. mixed races. So it's like it's because we're yeah. from the. It's the hoodish uh, attitude. It's the way. Yeah, that hoodish yeah. attitude yeah. and that and the hood for me, mentality. For me, it confirms it. If as I'm walking Body away. Language. If you start hurling insults or oh, whatever, I'm right. Like, then yeah, I, that's a, that's one for the that's one for the memory bank. As as he's walking away, when we're, when we're talking about your dickhead and that, that's confirming his yeah, thoughts. Is yeah. well, that's confirming it, his beliefs. It shows me that it probably just wasn't gonna go well. But, like I would stop and talk if I felt uh, well, yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what I would say to that though? The fact that you walked away. I'd walk away quicker. Um, you walked away a bit. <laughs> quickly. The fact that you walked away and you walked away a bit quickly was why you got the abuse afterwards and because... Like, if you said something to me, if if I did what I initially did and was like, no, I'm fine, and you were like, no, 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 it's not what you think, then maybe I'd stop because I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe why, I have assumed, I have assumed something. Why would you assume that though? Because I think there's not many interactions for me that would counter it. Like, it's just, it's just my, it's just what my you presumptions. See, what you see from the, what it's you see. It's just the prejudice. So it's like, it's the image, media. this is what we're portraying it, the yeah. rude boy image, mm -hmm. the ignorance. And no, that's true. The, the, this, this, this is what we actually portray. It's real. This is what, what, this is what, what you expect. Yeah, it's real. It's but, real. But if you said to me, if you, if you, so if that first interaction, maybe I'd do that. But if you checked me and was like, no, and called me out for being rude, then I'd probably stop. Oh, that's not oh, art. So if you checked him, I'd not, 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 not call, because we was calling him out for being rude, but in a ghetto sense when he was saying you dickhead and that. Yes. But if he said, that's a bit rude, well, mate. I just, just want you to actually yeah, try. Yeah, like, if you were like, look, I'm not, if you, if you basically found a way sure. of calling me out for what I presumed you were doing, yeah. it, like, yeah. like I, I did judge you straight away. Yeah. That's yeah. a lesson, I just you know? want to speak to you, then I might stop and be like, I don't know what I would say, but it would depend on what you want and what That's a, that's a, that's a lesson, that is. Then yeah, fair enough. My thing is all about us taking responsibility for how we're seen and for how we, we are treated. We can, we can. Because no, like, the we media can. put us out like some sort of way already. So they're in their head, we're already portrayed as whatever they okay, think. Okay, so my question is, would the media be able to put us, to portray us like that if it wasn't like that anyway? The media's portrayal is the only portrayal I have. If there were more situations like the one we're in now where we actually met each other and talked, then obviously I wouldn't. But there's nothing for me to know any better, basically. Yeah, what we're doing right now, yeah. and we as as part of the media, and as saying. we do, we yeah. cameras in front exactly. of us. That's what I'm saying. Like, out what we're doing right now, like I think that person would is fixing it, like changing perception, yeah. helping to change perception. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're just gonna be stuck on the. For us, we'd just be stuck on the block. And for a guy like what's your name, sorry, Robbie. for a guy like Robbie, he's gonna be stuck in his own world. Looking yeah, down his nose on everyone world, else. That's what the, and and yeah. for me, like it is a two-way street. Like I'm, semi, I'm pretty conscious that I'm aware that you have that perception of me, and how much do I play up to that or play against that? Like we can't judge the person because I understand we come in here, we've got this persona, we look a certain way. The baseball caps, this is the image that they've those the bad guys. That's what they've been told by the media and everything around them. So hey. we've, and we fit that description. My job is to say, you're right, you're right, mate, you're right. He, kinda, him feel he, he cool does and that relaxing, breakdown, you know. so he breaks down. Yeah, and but that shouldn't be all on you, though. But I understand. And yeah, I do yeah, come, yeah, we yeah. do come from a violent place and we can act up and a lot of people yeah. do go to prison nice and then a lot of we do, uh, I know a lot of ignorant <laughs> yeah, yeah. people I come from so I fully understand. Them. There is a lot of ignorant people who come from in the ghetto when they've got nothing to lose and they don't care about You nothing. know what, it's, it's gotta be on both. Nothing. This has to be, it's gotta be a two way thing. So it's for us to kind of not live up to that perception, but it's for also for other people to have an open enough mind to not to not see us from what they've shown, from what they've been shown, see us as they've seen us for the first time, especially if they don't know us. This is the first time at university where I've done something more like this, but like almost the first time in 20 years. Yeah, so no, like, I think that's just so telling, really, because I was saying earlier when we were chatting, like when, where, where I went to school before, you know, where you live, where you eat, where you mm. play sports, where you, like every, everything you do in a different place, it's kind of segregated. So there's no spaces where you would mix on anything like an equal footing as well. So maybe that's a good solution, no, creating really. those spaces where people can come together. There's also, it's, a, it's also a two way thing, it's vice versa. For example, let's say there's a boy from the hood walking in an area where he doesn't necessarily feel in, in place. It's gonna be exactly the same yeah. situation. If you're from the, from the hood and you go somewhere that's posh, they'll look at you like, bro, like, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm going
This time the toes that he's got a fetish for look like oh. chicken. Oh. 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 Hot, hot, hot shit. What were you doing yesterday? I swear, you're a fed up. What was you doing yesterday? I swear, you're a fed up, man. What do you love, man? Say love island. I love island. What's for you? What's for you? We don't even know what's for you. What's it saying? It says private, isn't it? No visitors, please register. Readers only. This is what people think when they see Oxford. Yeah. I've seen this in Harry Potter. That's right. Yeah. You've seen this in Harry Potter? Yeah. That's right. It is. No, Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. There's some Transformers in it. But you live in Oxford? Yeah. And you've only seen it on Harry Potter? Yeah, like I have gone the past building. my pedal bike a couple times, the but building like, I was, yeah, I've really never like I've never been in there or even past that gate. Like, yeah. We're not coming out of our way to come here, but it's like you're yeah. not gonna go somewhere where we're not accepted. Yeah. How would you feel on your own if you was on your own? Uh, probably Boydham would come here still. Yeah. 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 What are you doing here? Um, yeah. yeah. Probably get. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry for the police. I mean for the camera. What's yeah. yeah. It's police. The police. Yeah. 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 So you think if you were here on your own, the police would come and ask you what you were doing? Yeah, like if it was just us, like they would, they would, they would say we're we're moving dodgy in this they'll area. In a, really. They would say we're in a drug dealing area, and then they'd search us and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and that's happened to you multiple times. Multiple times. Yeah. So where do you hang around then? Definitely. Yeah. Oh. Um, we don't hang around, we just keep it moving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't hang around, we don't stick around. We don't stick around. We keep it long. moving. Yeah. Just keep it moving. How do you feel in this area? Uh, very comfortable. I've basically been here last two months. Yeah. Just working. This library, that library, there's no issues. The only problems you have is just like little pedantic things about, you know, your university card. No actual issues at all. He looks like he belongs here. That's true. Isn't it? I feel like I do. You look like you belong here. Mm. I got a friend, yeah. He He's never been, like, he's been here for all his life, yeah. And he's never been into the actual city centre up until he was like, what? Maybe like 15, 16? Really? Why? Because like what Penny says, like, like, you got, like, I don't know, kids from like these different estates and stuff, like, you know what I'm trying to say? They don't, they don't really leave the estate. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody do have their above their Especially living. here. Yeah. Especially here. To compare to, say, London, where you get the same thing, everyone's in a bubble, but it's just much more <laughs> spread out across the whole city. And walking through London, you can't help but notice the difference. Whereas in Oxford, I can always stay in the city centre. I can stay in these buildings and I'd never have to know anything else. Yeah. Whereas in London, it's very difficult, well, just as a point of comparison, like it's very different to go anywhere in London and not notice, not step outside your bubble, and come into contact with another bubble. Whereas here, there's no need to, you could spend as many people do, like your whole degree, your whole life, basically around these buildings. Inside that bubble. Inside that bubble. Our brains very naturally see things in groups and identify people as either part of our group, so our in-group, or not part of our group, so our out-group. And that can happen in a really simple way. So if I told this half of the room that you were team red and this half of the room that we were team blue, suddenly we would behave and our brains would behave in a really different way just from thinking about that group association. And that's something that we call the minimal group paradigm because all you need to do is give a kind of like small amount of information about the group that you belong to and it can change how you perceive other people. Gang associations, that would be an established group. You kind of give an actual name to the group of people and then you associate people who are not part of that group with an out group. 
Or you can also do things such as, um, you know, an established group would be like Oxford University students versus people who are not Oxford University students. And just by labelling people in those different ways, it can change your perception of those people. I was going to say, I was going to ask Pat, what the, if the, the, the social like, psychology shows that we're always forming groups, what's some of the research that shows how you basically overcome groups even when they're the minimal conditions for forming them? People who you perceive in your in-group and your out-group, you just bring them together and you just get them to have a conversation exactly like what's ha happening here and that is the way that scientifically you can resolve this <laughs> sense of being in a group. The biggest solution that we could come up with is just simple things, conversation, to develop understanding of each other. Like, you don't always have to react to the, the aggression. Like, if someone's aggressive, you don't always have to react with aggression. You can, you can just be humble and keep yeah. it safe. Calm the situation there. Yeah. You know, even if you know that somebody else, like, you're like, oh, well, they're obviously just a person too. Until you've had that positive experience, you're not actually going to be able to change the associations in the brain. Surely there's some people, though, that can't, like, they're, like, that part of their brain is not act that active. Like, they can't feel certain things. Through genetics? Like, okay, like, like... Like, certain people might feel some type of way to do something, but other people well, wouldn't think anything of it. Certainly what we learned was that right from the beginning, there's, there's very, very little, if anything, that is pre-programmed. Every, everything's so from the experience. It's stuff. usually a combination of but how does that work as and, a, and the experience. As a child, I, I did read and watched as well as a pregnant woman, if she goes through experiences, Oh, yeah. Some parts of yeah, brains yeah. are not as active as other parts of, like there was tests done on Reddit, I watched it, and kids that had no trauma, no smoking, no stress levels through the parents, <coughs> the brains were way more active when they were born. Mm. You come to the world with a certain set of genes, mm. and that they can also, you can get what they call epigenetic effects, mm. which is a bit like what you're talking about. So when someone is pregnant, the actual experiences they have during that time can change how the genes express themselves. Shouldn't it be part of a curriculum that it's taught yet? Because if certain people from deprived areas have grown up without that activity in the brain and haven't been given an even, I'm not saying given an even chance, but they don't know how to activate that part of the so brain campaign for until it's been taught. Sometimes it's later on in life, and that's you when know, it's too late to make mistakes. I, I started to learn about those things in my thirties, and we should be learning those as kids and being raised with that programming. There's kind of like two ways people say that the brain learns. Like one is what we call model free learning, which is just, yeah, where you learn, you get a good outcome. Like I eat the grape, I like it, so I do it again. I have to have experience for that. But there is another type of learning that isn't based on experience and you can just do that by changing your perceptions by thinking about it. And you can definitely do that. It just means it's a bit harder. If you change what you're thinking, then you change the behavior. It's one of the most important things you could ever do, learn how your mind works and how your character's been developed and how you can change it because then you can be literally anything you want to be and it's not a game. Like I'm, there's, like I'm talking through experience, I'm talking through seeing it and doing it. It's not a game, it's important, very important.